All right, we're here with 2024 Nebraska tight end uh, recruit Carter Nelson at the Polynesian Bowl. It's day two out here, day one for you. Um, just getting out here was a challenge, but you made it here, Carter. How, how hard was it to get out here from Nebraska? It was. I think we had like three different flights that we tried that got canceled. So it's definitely cool just to be able to get out here. Yeah, you played in the All-American Bowl in San Antonio. You're here at the Polynesian Bowl right now. Uh, what is, What's the difference you've seen just between the two thus far? Um, kind of the position I'm playing, uh, definitely. I'm kind of playing something that I'm more a little used to, but not quite used to the third level. So that's going to be something I need to work on a lot. You were a late add on to this game. How, how did that all come about where you were invited as a late player to the game? Uh, just kind of out of nowhere, they text me as like, you want to play in the game? And I was like, well, I'll see because I got a couple basketball games because those were hard to miss for me. But uh, I ended up making the decision to come out here because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to be able to learn about the game. Yeah, just um, you've only been out here for a day, but just coming up here to the North Shore, seeing like really mo a lot of the island already. I mean, what, what are your opening thoughts of just being out here? And, and it's, it's beautiful. Everywhere you drive, you see the ocean or mountains. So it's definitely a really beautiful. Really what about Dylan? You, you get a chance to play with Dylan Riola here at the game, um, coming to Nebraska. You probably have never really worked out with him at this level. What's it been like being with him for a practice already? Uh, so far, it's uh, been fun. I like the way that he operates. And sees so far, I've been able to see much, but I'm excited to see how he keeps progressing. So. What is it about his arm talent that stands out? I know he threw a football 73 yards on Monday in the long ball competition. Yeah, no, he uh, he definitely can throw it, but he's really good about like reading the open spots and like zones and man and all that fun stuff. No, Coach Rule was in town Monday. You were able to at least catch up and say hi to him. What did uh, your future head coach have to say out here in Hawaii? He kind of we kind of just visited. It was nothing crazy. It was kind of just what's up. So it was just. Normal conversation. What does that mean, though, to have your head coach out here to come see you in Hawaii? It's awesome. I mean, he's out here to see recruits, but that he took the time out to say what's up to us, too. That was definitely cool. Now, Preston as well. Have you got a chance to, to get to know Preston of uh, Talamoa? Yeah, from... this is my first time ever meeting him. Uh, so far, I like him a lot. He's a really good dude, so I'm excited to continue to build the bond with him. Uh -huh. What about just the game and, and what this means to the culture here on the island? No, it's awesome. So far, I haven't got, I've only gotten a little taste of what they do, and I'm just excited to like learn more about it so that way I can understand. And this is your second uh, week now playing at Leatherman football. Yep. Um, how big is that for you to to get a, to used to a Leatherman football? You never played it before. Yeah, no, it's big. I didn't realize like how much of a difference being having more layer, layers to a defense would be running routes and stuff. So I'm definitely getting used to that. So. And are you ready for track? Are you? Are, what's your track agenda look like this this spring? My track agenda is to do as much as I can to get ready for football next year. So it's not about winning. Even though I better win, it's not. I'm not focused on getting better for track. I'm getting better for football. So you'll finish basketball, and then are you gonna do high jump still? In pool yeah, vault? we'll see. We'll see how that does with my knees and stuff. I'm kind of just gonna do things that, like my practices will be more of lifting and stuff this year. So yeah, as you've gained weight, have you, have you kind of learned it's a lot on your body to to jump and, and do all the things you had been doing in track before? Yeah, a lot more stress goes on to your like my legs when I didn't jump last year. First. weighing right now uh, around 220 225 yep. and what does nebraska say about your role and kind of what weight they want you to play at now uh, they kind of want to be like a 230 to 240 type of guy i'm pretty sure so that way i can move and still so well carter nelson uh, great catching up with you we'll see you all week out here in hawaii i'm sure just, i can tell you being out of that weather uh, this this feels amazing yes, sir. well thanks to carter nelson for joining us here in house line